Good morning friends, it's Alexa again, and I realized I didn't actually talk about the next class for Diablo 4. So I wanted to cover this in here right now, because you know I'm a caster player, I like mages and necromancers, and just kind of everything that casts stuff. So initially I was like, okay, this is some sort of bruiser playstyle, but it's actually also has some, this is from the, from the stream as you can tell, has some casting things to it so the class to me looks actually kind of cool i like it it's a very fast paced class if you go for the specific um skills but you can also play it in a, in a pretty much of a lower mode so basically you have four four you have four gods you can choose from it's the spirits right that this class can use that is the jaguar it is the, the king kong the gorilla i think it's called it's the eagle and the centipede, which is kind of weird to me. Um, that was a weird choice in my eyes to go with the centipede. I would have expected like a snake. Like John in chat last time on stream we watched it, he also said, how do you miss the snake in the jungle setting? How do you go with the centipede over there? That just doesn't make sense, but whatever. Um, so yeah, basically they have different sort of playstyles, and I like this a lot. You have the Jaguar, which is more of an aggressive, as you can tell, aggressive going forth attacking pretty much brutal playstyle that this adds to the game and you have the gorilla which is sort of the defense version he has defensive skills or like reflection damage and also you can cast in the gorilla as your sort of ultimate that has in a huge aoe sort of protects you it gives you barrier and also um slams enemies and kills them <clears throat> why his, his base attacks. I don't know why, why this guy always comes in the picture. I don't care. I want to see gameplay. The main gameplay of the gorilla is... So the gorilla base skills like this one seem a little bit boring. I will say that because they seem a little bit defensive. But the great thing about this is that you can mix them up together, right? So you can choose. You want to have um, the, I don't know, gorilla ultimate, for example. But you go with the jaguar attacks. So you have fast paced attacks while the ultimate protects you with barrier and kills people while you are in that that is pretty cool the payback we see here for example like this looks pretty boring but this is the um retribution kind of thing and this now is the ultimate the protector you call him the gorilla by the way this looks really cool right and he gives you barrier and slams all these people so while you're calling the ultimate you can just keep attacking with for example the jaguar skills jaguar there is the eagle which is a little bit more of a as you can tell this is basically just aoe damage that's what it does it also makes him vulnerable i believe so you can call them in and this first ultimate that has charges pretty cool so you can call them in and the does aoe damage now this uh this is much more Maya style these kind of throwing lightning things so it's more of a sort of semi ranged playstyle. so i probably i'm gonna probably play the gorilla ultimate with the eagle attacks that's sort of my style right there is also what's really cool this one the saw which is basically a leap forward in eagle form pretty cool i like this a lot um i hope that they manage to the balancing a little bit better with this class so there's actually more builds viable than just one or two <laughs> like with the other classes so you can actually really mix them together in the playtesting, we saw online on stream from Rex and all the other great guys. Um, the centipede was overpowered as fuck, apparently. So I hope they fix that. Um, but I, I just like the idea of mixing the sort of playstyle. So this is a very vol um, versatile, I was going to say volatile. A very versatile class where you can really choose how you play that yourself. You can go all melee bruiser with all the Jaguar skills. You can play a very defensive tanky playstyle with the gorilla. You can play a very mage style with the eagle. And the, um, the centipede is more of a sort of summoning, summoning class. So I like this a lot. I actually like this class a lot. People were saying this is just very mid. What, what is all this shit? Especially with and perfect side coming along but i think it's very cool so the centipede is sort of you can think of with the centipede you can, you can sort of think of the warlock in last epoch it's poison dot damage that's what it does mostly so all these attacks are poison attacks so that's sort of the dot build you have with this um, then you can summon the centipede that does aoe damage and like attacks in a straight line and 
So this is pretty much I'm gonna keep this running so you see what these skills are. Again, I like this a lot. A new class is always great, trying to play around with things. And especially because this literally does everything, right? I know everyone was calling for the Paladin. And I'm sure the Paladin will be coming. Even though it, people told me actually in chat that lore-wise it doesn't make sense to have Paladins or Crusaders because apparently they died or were killed lore-wise. Maybe, but then again, maybe there was one surviving dude who brings back the whole the whole thing about the Paladin. I don't know. Um, whatever, I think this is a cool class. It looks really cool. Um, the skills, if they get the balancing right, can be really great if they have that much of a versatile character that can do everything. That is just so great to me. So let me know in the comments what you like the most of this, what your playstyle is going to be. <clears throat> Um, I'm definitely gonna go for sorry for my voice. <coughs> I'm definitely gonna go for the eagle and the gorilla. That seems like the coolest one to me. So tell me what you're gonna play. Also, there's one thing I didn't even mention here. Sort of the class specific stuff you can choose is you can really just choose one spirit you give more in your in your sort of book, like the necromancer has. Um, so you can buff your. You can buff your, your eagle skills, you can buff your gorilla skills, or whatever. So yeah, very, very simple. So I think that's very cool. I enjoy this a lot. And as I said before, I think there will be way more in this expansion than just a new class. I know Perfect I just dropped the bomb with adding so much new stuff to the game um, in just one league. And the Adler is sort of lacking behind it with just that one class. I think there's more than that coming. We also have somewhat leaked that the, the level cap will be raised to 110 or the whole level thingy will be playing played differently. I don't know yet. We will see. Anyway, let me know what you think of it. I think it actually looks cool. I'm looking forward to it, even though everyone says, says D4 is bad. And playing Path of Exile, for example, on S Epoch, you see there are some things lacking. Overall, I still think it's a great game. Anyway, let me tell you what you, let me tell let me tell you? Tell me what you think of it. I can't talk today. What the f anyway. Um, we'll see you in the next video, guys, and have fun with Diablo 4 or whatever you're playing right now.